Welcome back to the case study of Thanatos. Anime review episode 14. Actually, it's 13. Yep. Yeah. This is interesting, the fact that we bring this anime series back. After how long? Well, this is the first time in about five months that we had this series. And now we're back. The last time I covered this was episode number 12. The final episode of Kerr 1. Now, unlike the episodes they had for Kerr 1, where they had some, like, hyphen between them, and it's kind of a weird spelling of exactly how they spill these titles. Um, not the case with this one. No. Which, I thought that was kind of weird. Like, they changed the formats of the titles. Yes. Oh, and by the way, the name of this episode I'm covering is called Chance Encounter, which I'm thinking, that's kind of weird. No, like, little subtitle with it? Nah. Not really. Mm hmm. Now, if you're curious, though, what chapters is the manga that this episode covers, it's, it's chapters 24 to 26. 24 is 43 pages, 25 is 29 pages, and 26 is roughly 38. And you're thinking. Really? They cover three full chapters in this episode? And given the fact that the last episode didn't cover somewhat of the entirety of some chapters? Well, that was definitely true. Yeah, they didn't finish covering like a lot of the stuff when it came to first one. Now, we do skip over technically the first couple pages of chapter 26 when it comes to adapting. We start off with basically a bit of a recap with the characters going to like a train station... We kind of basically, like, we had the bit first, and, like, when, like, toward the end of the last episode, as we ever have a, re a recap anyways, just to remind people exactly what it's off at. Then we come back to present day of the episode. <clears throat> we have Phantos, Noe, Dante, and, oh, I don't remember the other guy's name. It's a guy who works with Dante. I think it's, uh, is it Oliver? No, not this guy. It is... Is it George's? No. Yeah, it's John. Mm -hmm. So bring him out to this place called Cyrus Village. And by the way, uh, since Vinatos is the one who technically isn't a vampire, he is freezing cold. And in the case of the other three, they have no problem with the cold. Because they're vampires. Though, in the case of Noah, he's a full-blooded vampire. The other two are half-vampires. They're, they're a... Domfer? Yes. Technically, what they are is half human, half vampire. So here, looking for the great beast, the great the beast of Gaffer. Of uh, so, the guy was looking for the damn thing, and they walk about for a bit. Of course, no, he's not. Oh, uh, he me and Domi used to play this play somebody like this when we were kids. Then he wanders off with more. Now, here's the thing: Why the heck did he bring his cat with him? Yes, in the manga, they don't bother explaining this at all. I don't think he. Uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, you you. I get the fact you want to bring your cat with you when you travel. Like, couldn't I don't know. They keep the cat in the freaking hotel where they stay at. No, for some reason, no, he decided to bring his own cat with him. I do not know why he did this for. It seems a bit unnecessary for him to do this, especially if you're in the middle of the freaking woods and you're counting a giant wolf. So then something really odd happens. Like, the period, like it was cold. The ground looks pretty normal. I'd say this is probably, like, early winter. So it wasn't falling hit. And then something really weird happens. Like, this gears pop up. And then all of a sudden it's now snowing. Yes. 
completely out of the blue, snowing. And then we see some guys look like they're from the 18th century. It is suggested by no way that they've time traveled back in time a hundred years. Those are called Dodgers. That's what they're called. And according to, to Vanitos, they were assembled by King Louis the Fifteenth. You think King Louis the Fifteenth? Yes, that was the father of the king who allied with the United States when, when they finally got the British back in World War, War in that World War in the American Revolution. Mm-hmm. Yes, if I if, if I remember correctly, reading correctly, it, I believe he was the third last official king of France who was in the poem. So the mention of him, like, oh, his majesty. A.K.A. King Louis. So, oh yeah, this is Antoine, basically mentioned about the first one here. That's interesting. I, as far as I could tell uh, from, from from what I heard, the Musketeers definitely did exist, per se. I don't know about Antoine, per se. I'm not really sure. So then all of a sudden, they have to come across them. Then they come across the Great Beast, who is a gigantic wolf with the size of a freaking skyscraper. I mean, it's, it's basically, it looks like a freaking uh, Megalodon like, it's basically the size of a megalodon on, on feet. So that way he's running away with the damn thing. And all of a sudden, Genie pops up out of nowhere. Yes, Genie. As in the Hellfire Witch. Meanwhile, though, Noe is encountered by... A paladin! Named Antoinette. Who has the appearance of a guy. Who has the appearance of a woman, despite fact being a guy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Is by far one of the most weirdest things. He ends up finding Noah because apparently he remembers Noah from having a conversation. Yeah, it's not really explained why the heck doggers are here. It's just weird to say the least. So, some are killed not only by the beast but also by the connoisseur. Who says, oh yeah, he's here to get vampires, not to protect humans. And this compares just to Ronald, the, 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 the pilot in the counter a few episodes ago, which I thought was kind of hilarious. And of course, Noah got beaten by him. Despite the fact he's kind of weaker than he is. And of course we have. No way to. Uh, Vine tells us no way. Go slap Genie. I'll handle the, I'll handle the paladin. Like oh what's this. And he talks about his dad. He talks about Ronald. Ra- 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 of course Ronald basically is referred to as buffoon. By Antoinette which I think is so hilarious. And then. Like more weird stuff happens. Like we have. We have Genie fighting the damn thing. And all of a sudden. The sky chain, like something pops up the ground, and it's the Charlton Parade, and the Paladin's like, "What the heck is this?" Now, as far as I can tell, this is the first time that someone besides Noe, well, someone who's technically not a vampire, to see the <coughs> first time the, the Charlton Parade. This is recently appears as the second arc of the series, the Masquerade. Oh yeah, the masquerade. I did not really expect them to pop up here. No, not really. It's by far one of the strangest things. Like, and you have Nandu, I think his name is the one who's the black thing. Yes. By the way, the beast of G- G- Galvan Arc. Uh, that starts chapter 20. I think they started adapting the last episode. And it goes chapter 43. So they have less than 20 chapters or something to go. And I would not be surprised this whole core covers this whole thing. So, and of course, both both Thanatos and the Paladin decided to slice up the charlatans. And also, then he proceeds to, oh yeah, let's end the charade. Let's cure the beast, whose actually name is Chloe. Turns out someone that, that Genie knows. 
and Vanatos takes out the, the book of Vanatos. He proceeds to do his normal thing, and then the chain snaps. And you're wondering what the heck happened here. And then we see it in the snow. The Charlton Prey disappears. Noe and Vanatos are not seen already in the episode. Then we see this guy with black hair and dressed in all black and he's somewhat wounded. You see him dripping blood. And then you see her, then you see him come across, I think it's either Genie or Noe. I can't really tell because it's dressed in white. And we see the little girl, Chloe. And so I presume it's Chloe with the silver hair. And she can't move because her, leg is, her legs hurt. And then apparently that's... And we see a cast in the background. And that's the episode ends. Another weird episode. It's a good episode, but weird. Like... It's like stuff like, oh my gosh, like, wow, like something completely out of nowhere, like, like the beast itself, that was expected, because this is what the arc is, basically doing this beast. But the charlatan parade, a paladin, who looks like a freaking woman. By the way, he actually killed a bunch of these doggers for basically, get this, for hitting on him. Because they thought he was a she. Because of the feminine appearance. He's like, oh, I'm just defending myself. And he refers to, and the whole thing of Ronald referred to as a buffoon. Yeah, that's completely true, given the fact how he's characterized in the last few episodes of the first car of the series, which I found to be so hilarious. Yep. But this episode overall was weird, but well, pretty fun too. I mean, it's basically, you can kind of say, it's like remind people of like, oh look, the Beast, that's something we basically came here for. A Charlotte to pray, oh yeah, that's the main plot of the series. But the whole thing with Vantos losing his book, that was something new. If you didn't read the manga, of course. Yep. But I'm definitely looking forward to what happens next. And as of this episode, we are seven chapters into this particular arc. And I believe this arc will wrap up <clears throat> by, let's see. By chapter 43. Because here's the thing. The first curve of the series only covered the first three arcs of the series and the first portion of Beast of Galvin. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's how far basically this thing covered to. So I think the Beast of Galvin arc is probably going to be the arc that I covered this whole thing. And maybe Hunters of the Dark. It's possible, to say at least. I'm not sure how long Hunters of the Dark is because of the. the the page hasn't updated in quite a while. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's a particular view. Next is going to be Shaman King. And after that, that's going to be pretty much it for tonight. Because tomorrow, Comic-Con. Get my whole view for that. How, how real is here for the kingdom? And case closed. Okay. Until you. Bye.